and it is my last day of water fasting, uh, water only, at um, True North Health Center in Santa Rosa, California. I have had quite the adventure and um, I want to tell you all about it. Since the last time uh, we were together, I think it was on day nine. So today's day 14. Um, I don't know what day of the week that was, but it was um, just a few days later. Uh, I think Thursday afternoon, I started having a water aversion. And it just, I could hardly drink water. It just did not taste good. It tasted sweet. It was just too sugary for me. And, um, and I just couldn't drink it. I was drinking cold water, ice cold water. So I told the medical uh, staff as they come in three times a day to check on you. And they said, try a different kind, try hot water. And so I did, I tried hot water and that really made all the difference. Um, so from that moment forward, the next day on Friday, well, I guess it was, might've been Wednesday night that that happened. And so then Thursday morning, I woke up and I drank hot water. So I go into the kitchen and fill this up with uh, instant hot water and it's distilled. And uh, I just drink that and it's so, it tastes like hot tea. It's like very soothing. And so I drink, you're supposed to have at least 64 ounces a day. And um, I have two of those, which is 48 ounces. And then I was noticing again, later in the afternoon, it was a little harder to still have uh, hot water even during the day. So I told the doctor again, and they said, have you tried bubbly water? So they have sparkling water that they make here. And um, so I, I started drinking that, and now that's my system. Because I was thinking, I think it was uh, Thursday, yeah, I was thinking, I don't know if I can make it to Saturday. This water aversion is just really bothering me. And, uh, but I think I was thinking too much about the food that I was going to get, <laughs> that your mind is so powerful and you really tell yourself, you know, that food is coming. And so that's all you could think about. Maybe I've never been hungry at all. You don't have hunger pains, but our brain is so powerful. Our thoughts are so powerful. And um, so, because uh, at the beginning, you know, all I could think of is I'm doing $15, 15 days of water. And that's, I had my head straight onto that path and knew that that was what my goal was. And so um, I was great and fine all the way until the, I guess, the 11th day. And, um, and so the sparkling water, oh, thank God for the sparkling water. So I uh, drink the two things of hot water and then I drink a tall thing of uh, sparkling water. So that's plenty. And um, so I get my water in for the day. And um, so the lectures here have been really excellent about uh, circadian rhythm was one class that I went to and it was amazing it's really I mean I feel like we do a lot of that already but it's very it's like more consciously in my thought now so that I will do even better because we all have sleep issues maybe not but I know that I uh, do at times of hard to go to sleep, even though I'll listen to an audio book or some uh, meditative music to help me put me asleep. Um, but anyway, I've been sleeping nine hours every night since I've been here, and it's been wonderful. Uh, I just love it.
I'm, um, there was something else I was going to tell you about um, the circadian rhythm. Oh, how important it is about the red glasses while you're on your screens um, to cut out that blue light. Um, that is one thing that's super important, especially for children. And then um, when the sun comes up, to go outside and be out there at least 10 or 15 minutes if you can to see that sunrise and let that sunshine get into your eyes. Don't wear sunglasses and no hat. Don't shade. And you don't have to look right at the sun, but just having that glare of sun in your vision around you that you can see like the sun coming from this side or whatever but it's not really harsh that early in the morning and then in the evenings when the moon goes down to you know recognize and let your uh, circadian rhythm see because your body has one overall from your brain and then every organ has its own and even the gut has its own. So when you eat late at night, that's when you're trying to sleep, but you can't sleep because your food is digesting and your gut is like saying, why do I have this food in here? I'm supposed to be sleeping right now. And so it's really important to fast in the evening to not eat after five o'clock uh, so that your body can rest completely and have a really good night's sleep. Um, so what I have adapted since I've been here and I plan on doing it once I get home is, um, I do all of my computer time or phone time, phone screening or TV watching. I don't watch TV, but I liked, I have a couple, like about five families that I follow on YouTube that are off the grid and they're building Adobe uh, dirt bag houses or cabins in the forest or whatever they're building and it's really fun to watch them and um, so I like to follow and watch those stories each day and uh, and I used to would write watch them in the evening until like eight o'clock and we would turn it off at eight and then go to bed but I've decided that I'm turning off all screens at five o'clock, no TV, no phones, and no computer at, at after five o'clock. And then just have the evening to play dominoes with my wife, Rio, or cribbage, or and then walk around outside to my garden and check everything in the evening. Um, and then also um, doing, um, yoga uh, like a relaxation meditative yoga in the evening right before going to bed we've been doing that here every evening and it's really been lovely and so i really suggest having the best sleep that you can have because it's for your health um, nobody else can make you healthy it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing you have to do what you have to do to take care of you so um, go in your room and tell everybody, leave me alone. I'm going to be in my room and don't bother me <laughs> and go do yoga for yourself. There's some really easy, very, very simple movements um, that you can find online on YouTube. And um, so that's enough about that. But um, all of my rashes are gone. I don't have any rash. Um, I don't, I have, I mean, I, I, you can see me itching every once in a while. This is my hair after 14 days of not washing it because you're not supposed to wash, use any kind of shampoo. I found out yesterday that when you don't wash your hair, it, it helps your microbiome in your gut. And I had never heard that before. And I'm just thrilled about that. Um, and then also... You can't really take a bath or a shower because they don't want you to fall over and faint. So tomorrow morning, when I'm in bed, I'll get a knock on the door and um, it'll be the kitchen and they will, will bring me two green juices or maybe one green juice and one broth. I don't know exactly, but they're bringing it to my door and it's going to be for me.
<laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that. So um, I will touch bases with you again next Wednesday and uh, let you know of an update after I've been on refeeding, it's called, for three days. You start with juice and then the next day you do fresh fruit and raw vegetables and then the next day you add something in it. So there's a whole list of things that you get to add um, each day a little bit at a time. So if you go too fast, it can really screw up your system. So that's why I'm here for a week to refeed. And uh, the food is organic and freshly made and delicious and all SOS free. So that's no salt, no sugar, no oil. And um, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So let me know if you have any questions and subscribe so you can see the next video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers. Now I gotta turn this thing off. How do I turn it off? This is on my phone, so it's a little different than last time.